Hello everyone, welcome to the video lecture on Python file handling binary files. So in this video we will see how to read from a binary file, how to write onto a binary file. Writing to a binary file. The open function opens a file in text format by default. So if we want to open the file in binary format, we need to add B to the mode parameter. WB mode opens the file in binary format for writing. Unlike text mode files, binary files are not human readable. So when you open that binary file, you won't be able to see the content what is there. The data is unrecognizable. The following code stores a list of number in a binary file. So the first list is converted to byte array before writing through the built-in function byte array. And then that byte representation of the object is written through file.write. So let's see how to read this file now. Reading through a binary mode, we need to write RB mode for the mode parameter. And then we need to take a variable and read the file. And that file must be converted into list format. So how do we do that? We write file equals to open the name of the file which is to be read comma rb mode and then variable name equals to list. Now this function will convert whatever the file will read into a list. So your file dot read will read 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and that will convert it into list because in binary the list what we stored in previous program is not stored at list it is stored as numbers so while reading we need to convert it to the list so print n will print this so now let's see this practically so let's see how to write to a binary file so we're writing to a binary file first we need a file handler so file equals to open within bracket we'll be writing demo dot text and then comma quotes w b for writing now we'll take a list which is to be written so let it be 1 comma 3 comma 6 comma 0 now this list is converted to byte representation through byte array function so we'll just take a variable called the ar equals to byte array and within bracket will take this variable l and now we will write this through file dot write and bracket a r now file should be closed and this can be run now after running if you want to see the content of demo dot text so there is no readable content here but once we will be using binary file for reading it, we would be able to read the content what we are not able to see in the demo.txt. So for this, we need to write file equals to open within bracket which file you want to read. So it is demo.txt then comma rb mode because write mode. After this, what you need to do is you need to take a variable. So let it be var equals to and then convert whatever is read into list. So file dot read that is converted to list and then print var and then file dot close. Once we run this, we have one three six zero as the content of the file which we have written earlier so you can see how we can write and read from a binary file now uh, let's see if we want to write some characters instead of uh, numbers so a d u and p Okay, and we'll use same, we'll write demo1.txt for writing and we will get the error because we can only use 
use file dot write to write binary representation now byte array doesn't convert the list of characters to byte array it can only convert the list of numbers to byte array so for writing this kind of information we need to use some other method so let's see what method is used we also have a facility to read or write a binary file through pickle module so if you want to store the list of names or list of characters we cannot use through byte array or file dot write so for that we need to use pickle module now let's see what is pickle module so python pickle module is used for serializing and deserializing python object structure so let's see what is serializing the process to convert any kind of python object into byte streams that is in form of zeros and ones is called serializing or pickling now the other way around that is deserializing is the process of conversion of byte stream back into the python object it is also called unpickling so why do we require pickle because in real world scenario the use of pickling and unpickling is widespread because it is easily transferred from one server system to the another server system and it is very easy to store in a file or database now we will see how to pickle a list so for that we need to write import pickle then the list and a method called with open the file name comma the mode as the name of the file handler this method is used instead of the line what we used to write that is file equals to open within bracket file dot text wb if we write this line starting with with we need not write the file dot close line so you can use this if you want to avoid to close the file otherwise you can write the traditional method that is file equals to open file dot text comma wb then you will write pickle dot dump the name of the list or the content whatever you want to write comma the name of the file object now let's see how to unpickle so unpickling is done through traditional way you can see data equals to open dot file dot text comma rb mode we'll take a variable and in that we will load the data that is the name of the file handler and then we will print that data and that data will come in the format as we have stored so let's see this practically let's see now how to store the list of character so for that we will just write the line that is uh, the open mode demo one dot text w me mode and then the list of character now once we have taken this list of character uh we will just write let it be the first line to write import import pickle once we have written this what we need to do is now we have to dump the data first okay so for that we need to write pickle dot dump within bracket the name of the list or the content what is to be written comma the name of the file handle and then file dot close we will run this so we'll see your demo dot demo one dot text is created and we cannot read this file so it is not utf8 encoded so we cannot read but through unpickling we'll be able to read the file so this has to be in rb mode and then we have to take a variable and we have to write pickle dot load file okay and this can be given in a variable let it be list equals to and then we will write print list now let's see so whatever list we had written 
we could read it back so we can do this for storing the dictionary and other things as well so let's get back into theory and then see now we can also pickle the dictionary so for that we need to write import pickle then the name of the dictionary and the values of the dictionary will open a file will dump in the same way again we will read the file and then we can just load the data and here you have seen that i have wrote imp.pickle so we can also use text file as well as pickle file here so let's see how to write a dictionary first so for that we will be just opening a file again in writing mode and instead of text i'll be writing pickle here let it be demo 2.pickle and we'll take a dictionary let it be the roll number and marks okay so 1 comma 2 35 comma 5 okay and then we will use the same thing that is pickle dot dump pickle dot dump within bracket d comma file and then close so we can run this and then now if we want to read it we'll just read so it has to be demo2 dot pickle and then i can read the content and the content is this so did you understand how to read and write dictionary and uh, list into a binary file through use of pickle module so there are certain exceptions which arises in pickle module so those are pickle dot pickling error if pickle object doesn't support pickling this exception is raised means when we get the error while reading or writing you can just recognize this error and understand why this error is coming okay so pickle dot unpickling error means in case of reading we are not able to read because the data is bad or correct and the last error is eof error in case the end of file is detected this exception is raised that's all with the binary files so let's see few questions now if we have a question like write a program to create a binary file using pickle called pen.pickle store the detail of 10 pens company price and color how do we do this program so for that we need to write import pickle and then we will open a file let it be out equals to open and within bracket we need to open this pen dot pickle so in writing mode so wb now we need to store the 10 pens so we'll be taking for loop in range 10 and then we'll ask for the input so company price and color so this can be stored in a list okay so how do we do that so for that we have to take a variable company so input enter the company of the pen okay and uh, again the same thing we'll do for price and color so we'll just copy paste and this can be pr price and this can be color so c o l 
here you need to write rice and here you need to write color okay after taking this we will take a simple let it be list which will store all this so list will have com comma pr comma color so it is a list now now this list what we have to do is we have to dump every time okay now we'll just write pickle dot dump within bracket l comma out and then out dot close and you will run this so you have to write 10 companies name and then the data will be stored so i'll just uh, write so let it be reynolds oh let it be 20 rupees and color is blue and so on 10 companies name you'll be writing and you'll be able to write the file now let's see how to read the file which we had created so for this we need to write import pickle then our variable so let it be file dot open oh sorry file equals to so we'll just copy the name into read mode after that we don't know how many contents are there in the file so we'll be writing file one and then we will read so pen equals to pickle dot load and in bracket file now if pen equals to nothing okay that means the content is over now we will write break else print pen so let's run and see so we've got all the content so what we can do is while one what it does it runs your infinite loop so when the value of pen is nothing that means now there are no content so it will break unless and until it has content it will keep on printing so this way we can read a binary file thank you